Hi everybody, my name is Adam. Today I have a bit of a more technical tutorial for you and it's in regards to removable drives. So I get lots of questions on how to handle removable drives in ACDC and so this video will let, focus on two things and that is sort of transferring files from a removable drive to your hard drive and then the second thing it's going to focus on is how best to manage metadata on those removable drives uh, provided that you need to uh, use them for some form of storage capacity, that sort of thing. Enjoy. Here I have a removable disk. Note that the little red cross on the bottom right of the icon that indicates that this isn't a regular hard drive. Clicking on this disk will result in a warning pop-up. By default, removable disks are excluded from your ACDC database. Your database houses cached thumbnails, categories, notes, keywords, color labels, authors, dates, ratings, captions, and finally, face data. In other words, your database contains metadata that you assign to your files. If I open these photos by bypassing the excluded drive warning, You'll notice that the ACDC metadata panel is not visible. This again is because by default, removable disks are omitted from the ACDC database. I can't add ACDC metadata to these files. The way I see it, you can use a removable drive for two different purposes. Option one, as a temporary transfer, ACDC, by default, is going to assume that you're using removable drives as a means to make temporary transfers. For example, I can copy and paste these files from a removable disk into a new folder on my computer's hard drive, or I can use the import function to copy these files to a defined location and backup location. Option number two, you store files on removable disks. So you use your removable drives as a sort of picture backup system. This isn't necessarily a bad thing, but it does require that you know some things about the way ACDC treats removed drives that you have made database adjustments to. So you're gonna categorize these files, adding metadata while the removable drive is plugged into your computer. You're then going to remove it, put it into storage for a while, and plug it into ACDC, let's say a year later. How do we go about doing this? And how do we go about preserving the metadata that you have applied? We're going to do one of two things. When we click on a removable disk, we're going to select yes to the excluded drive warning. Or what we're going to do is we're navigating to Tools, Options, select Database from the left window here. Database will have an excluded folders button. We're going to click this. So this section is important as it allows us to firstly turn off excluding removable drives from metadata changes. I would do that by unchecking Always Exclude Removable Drives. The other important feature is that it allows me to add folders that will never be stored in the database. By default, ACDC excludes temporary folders and program file folders. Add whichever folders in here that you don't want to index. Okay, so now that the folder is no longer excluded, we can start adding metadata. I'll navigate to my removable drive and add a bunch of metadata to my second image here. I'll rate it, label it, add an author and a keyword. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm going to right click and I will go down to metadata to embed the metadata. Now we can remove the disk. Unmounted disks remain in the database as orphans but you won't be able to browse the folder because the pictures won't exist there. Notice that my removable disk isn't in the same location as it was previously. But 
if I navigate to catalog and then to image well, I can search through all of my previously viewed images. You'll notice right away that as I scroll down, the image that I added metadata to is present. ACDC remembers the metadata, but importantly, when I navigate to file from the properties panel, the location will be listed as unmounted. This is how I know that it is an orphan. I would recommend not adding any more metadata to this file until it's remounted. So for this method, consistency is key. We really want to know how we're going to go about adding metadata to external drives before we begin doing so. And basically stick with that method for as long as we use ACDC. The reason for this is so we don't end up with a bunch of orphan files that have differing metadata from the external drive. If any of these files have been renamed, ACDC won't be able to repair them. Just save all your edits for when the drive is mounted. Now, 90% of our users won't need to worry about this issue, but for those who do, keep these thoughts in mind. Please like this video, subscribe and click the bell icon, and most importantly, please comment with suggestions of what you'd like me to cover next. Take care. Thank <laughs> you.